You're gonna cry. See? You always cry. <laughs> Woo! Jacked is up! Wow, was not expecting it to be jacked. Final Fantasy's most abusive drunken father has landed. Um, <laughs> Goofy had set engaged. It's a mystery to me how Jekt is such a liked character. Oh, I love Jekt. I think he's a badass, but um, god damn, he's an arsehole. <laughs> Jekt is the most loved, lovable arsehole ever. Uh, let's go. Whew. Come on. I think, I think, yeah, it's Dissidia Duodecim. He was kind of on blocking. Block attacks, block strikes midair. I can't remember. There's the shoe. There's the tune! Okay. It sounded a bit strange, the voice. I've heard it in Japanese. It doesn't sound the same. Yep. Kicks, kicks, strikes. Heavy hitter. Pretty slow. Yeah! This tune! Oh, this is gonna be so tough. 56. Look at him just wailing on Titus. <laughs> there, it, there it is. The block. The block. So uh, yeah, I think um, I think we call this Jekt a Vanguard. I think that's the kind of the class or category he's put in Vanguard. Oh, he's a savage. He's a savage. With a savage theme. Jekt! Woo! As happened as you saw. Yeah, I, I've actually listened to all the FF10 characters in Japanese. I don't usually know him. I'm not usually familiar with them. But I don't know if I like his voice as much. When it starts, I won't be myself anymore. Love to hear all of these characters in English. I really am just desperate at this point to know what Square did plan to do with the English voice acting. What VAs they plan to get back and all that, all that shit. <laughs> uh, I love Jack's theme. I just want Jack's theme. I don't even want Jack himself that much. Um, I'll tell you that about him. I mean, he looks good. Uh, like I said, I haven't played much of Duodecim, but I can see he's still got the same kind of framework as what he originally had, uh, which is based on you know, strong attacks, blocks, parries, defenses. Um, so yeah, he looks like he's going to be a tanky boy. A tanky spanky, kind of almost like the opposite of Tidus, which is funny. Tidus, I can't remember if he comes under as an assassin or specialist, um, but fast moving, pretty glass cannon. And Jack's just wailing on the boy. <laughs> this is like the ultimate story of child abuse. Social services clearly just doesn't exist on Spira. Um, but yeah, we got some really cool details. So this has come out, it came out during a stream. Uh, we've had a bit of news, so August the 26th to the fourth. The Dissidia Beta will be live for Japan. <laughs> for Japan! Yes, yeah, so they've got their date. Uh, they know when they're going to get into the PS4. But nothing to despair about because they did say in Evolution 2017 that the Western version that we're going to be getting will be this summer. Now, I don't know about the rest of the world, but here in England, uh, summer ends on September the 22nd, I think. Oh Jesus, I can't, yeah. no, can confirm, uh, 22nd of September is when summer ends, so even if Japan are getting it first and they've got their dates and we don't, it's not going to be long after, unless they delay it, that we're going to be getting our version. Now, talking about our version, whenever that does come, supposedly we, we're only going to get 14 characters. Now, they're 14 of the ones who are out on the arcade, but there are more than that, so I think characters like Ramza and Ace and some of the newer ones that are coming out, my man Jex over here, uh, he ain't gonna be in the beta version. So uh, people have just got to bear that in mind before they kick off when they get the beta and they see that their favorite characters aren't there. Uh, now another little bit of news was Makoto from Facebook. He said that during the stream, I thought this was quite an interesting detail, they were speaking about Jex, but they accidentally mentioned Yuna uh, by mistake and they abruptly tried to sort of shift away from it. I can awkward, oh shit, quick, change the conversation. Um, so that could be a little spoiler or teaser for next month's reveal. It was a slip of the tongue. Perhaps it means something, or perhaps it means diddly squit. Uh, they also joked to the fans to prepare tissues because Jekt and Tidus will have a compassionate reunion of sorts. 
Mm. Now they did say that Dissidia, uh, this version NT, won't be having a storyline as we kind of knew it and saw it in the previous Dissidias, but they did say there will be a source of story told through cutscenes. So yeah, this is possible. Jekt and Ty just have some sort of emotional reunion. Um, <laughs> I just still can't get over how Jekt is just, he just abuses his son. He just abuses him and somehow the fan base doesn't hate his guts. <laughs> he is just the example to all men out there that even if you are a terrible father, a terrible, horrible, nasty abusive father, you can still be a hero. <laughs> but that side, super dope character design. I love what they've done with him. Uh, we didn't get to see in that trailer <clears throat> him go into uh, his Aeon form. I would really like that to see. If that's still in, he needs to have a final Aeon form. I really hope he does. Or, I don't know, Sin. Turn him into Sin. I don't know. But there it is, guys. That's the trailer reaction to Jekt. That's some of the latest news with Dissidia. I'm still buzzing as hell. And for anyone who doesn't know, if you have had your head under rock, there are Dissidia beta codes going out. So if you want to get in on that, again, no date confirmed, but confirmed for coming this summer. Link in the description to where you can go to get the code. And uh, yeah, they said that this was one of the most requested characters, Jekt. And it's super dope that he's arrived. Until the next video. Goodbye.